Aloha all, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Tennis for the N64, I'm Paper Mario Guy. In this episode, we are going to be tackling another bonus that I, I said that I was going to be doing, and that is going to be the Piranha Challenge, and we will be using Daisy in this one. Oh, oh, okay. Daisy, there we go. So she's making a star return from uh, Super, uh, Super Mario Strikers, well, this game technically came out before that, but whatever. So we're going to play on the composition court with a fastest speed and a strong bounce. And uh, there's something that you should know about this. Okay, so there's two things. A, there's 50 balls that are shot out and you have to try to return them. And the thing about it is if you're that, that birdo on the other side returns the ball, um, you cannot hit it back. And it seems as though around... 30 or 35 or so hits, it, it just, it, it becomes incredibly difficult to, uh, hit them back over. Um, the second thing you should know about this is that you can actually unlock a court by getting a perfect 50. I've never in my life gotten the perfect 50, so I don't know exactly how that will work, but, um, I, I had a fair round with Daisy when I was practicing this, but it, it's not even so much that stuff like that happens. It's just I I always get I always get owned by whatever whoever my my enemy is. Well, not enemy, but person responding. Yeah, see, like, see, like I said, like 35 or so, and it just starts getting like increasingly difficult. See, that's like three in a row that Birdo just returned. So it, it's pretty hard to get a, a perfect 50, but it goes pretty quick, and, it, it, and it, it's pretty fun. Keeps you on your uh, toes, honestly. Helps you. It, it's like a, I guess this could be kind of considered like a practice mode, because you get serves from all different angles at all different speeds. Um, so, I, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty cool mode, but... Oh, 39 out of 50. So this is, see, 39 is what I seem to get all the time. Uh, so let's go back to the main menu and try this again with a different character. So we use the technique. Let's use Donkey Kong. We'll try for power. Um, and with a, uh, fastest ball speed, I wonder if Toad's going to be able to... Okay, I stand corrected. Oh, I stand corrected doubly. Toad will be able to get these over. Anyway, this is pretty much going to be the same thing over and over again. I'm going to try this like two or three times in this video. So, things to talk about. Um, to be honest, I'm, I mean, even though I have the doubles, and the doubles will always be, it will be fun because I'll have a uh, caboose with me. But I'm kind of ready for this to be over. Um, even though I'm going to be taking about a week break um, once this is over, because this is supposed to end um, Sunday, May 23rd. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, and, well, it's going to end May 23rd, and then the big try-up, uh, reveal is going to be, uh, wow, fuck you, Toad. Alright, let's try this again with a different character, because I know I'm not getting anywhere with that. Uh, the big try-up reveal is going to be on the Monday and everything, so, I don't know, um, then I'm going to be taking a week break, and then on June 1st, which is a Tuesday, I'm actually going to be starting my uh, the try-up, as well as I'm going to uh, possibly start Mario vs. Donkey Kong on that date. So we'll kind of see what happens. I'm not, it's not set in stone yet, but I would like to start it kind of soon. Um, I don't know, I, again, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with, with Mario vs. Donkey Kong yet. All I know is that it's going to be super fun. Um, I've been practicing for the last, like, week or so. Uh, fucking baby Mario, come on. Uh, yeah, I've been practicing it for about a week or so, and I just uh, beat the uh, main game. Um, and I, I beat it uh, with every single present in the main game. But I only had, uh, I think, 22's total uh, high scores or something like that. Um, I could do better, and if with like a little bit more time put into it, I probably could do a bit better. But um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to be going for a perfect score. I'm, I'm going to try to in the LP 
um, get all the uh, presents still, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that in the LP itself. I'm playing Mario Tennis right now, not Super Mario, or uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. So many Mario games, man. Oh, man. Speaking of Mario games, I've been meaning to uh, look for a copy of Super Mario uh, RPG online, like the actual cartridge of it, because while I don't have a Wii right now, so I currently have no form unless I emulate it to play Super Mario RPG, and it's been such a long time since I played that game, like, I barely remember anything, so it would be almost like playing a new game over, and I mean, I know I really love the Paper Mario series, so I assume that I'm just going to, like, uh, um, Super Mario RPG when I play it again, uh, but we'll see, I I'm not terribly confident on that, but, uh, I don't know, it's just one of those games that everybody loves, and I, I know, if I can remember anything, I, I remember I kinda liked it, yeah, Bowser, uh, but, I don't know, it's just one of, the, one of those games that I wanna play again, but I really should stop, like, looking for new, okay, I'm not playing as paratrooper, see, that's exactly why, you just, like, slide around, it's like you're on ice or something, let's go with Wally. Uh, hopefully it's Wario. Nope, Paratrooper? Okay. Um, yeah, but I really should stop looking for new games to play and play the ones that I already have that I need to complete. Like, I still, have, I still haven't beaten Wind Waker. I, uh, recently, like, a couple of weeks ago, picked up Metroid Prime and I need to finish that. Um... Oh, good job, Waluigi. You're so good. Um. And then, uh. What other games do I have? I'm trying to think. I wish I could, like, stand. Like, go over there and look. But alas, I can't. I don't know. I'm kind of blah right now. This is, uh. Kind of boring, actually. I don't, I don't know, thinking about it now, playing this, and then just finishing playing uh, Ring Shot, because I'm recording this just right after, I'd say that Ring Shot's definitely a bit more exciting and a little more fun. I think it's mainly because, like, I know I get angry at, I'm going to get angry at this, because, like, if I just start doing bad, like, I don't want to play it anymore, uh, because it's just, like, when I know I have an objective at hand, and I failed the objective already, like, I have no incentive to keep on playing. And that was the biggest thing, like, I used to play Rock Band and Guitar Hero a lot. I would, like, be going for, like, 100% on a song, and rather than finishing out the song, even though it's fun, I would just, I would stop the song and restart just because I missed, like, one note. So, I uh, don't know. Uh, I just, I know I, I do this in this. Alright, yeah, this, I know I do this in this. Yeah, good grant, er, fuck me, I can't talk right now. Oh my god. So, let's go into the options and look at status. Oh, let's look at ring shot. As you can see, Waluigi has four. I was playing, I was practicing as him, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of extending the episode at this point. I'm going to cut it here, guys. Uh, Piranha Challenge is pretty much what you saw. I don't think I'll ever get that perfect court. It's just a piranha plant court, and it looks pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure you can only use it in the Piranha Challenge anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But, um, yeah, I really am going to cut it here, because I have nothing more to say about this game right now. Um, until next time, I am Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros. Thank you for watching, and toodles.